Over the years, my space has really changed. Many of you who've been on this channel for at least a few years will have noticed that. This has gone from a magnolia, boring, plain walled room into being the green and brown, witchy, magical wonderland that I think it is today. Even if no one else agrees with me, I absolutely love the space that I live in. And over time, I've collected a lot of items, a lot of artwork, oddities and curios that really make the space my own and give it a witchy feel. And while I've been looking to find every single creator of every single item I have in my home, I haven't been able to find all of them. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the main ones that I find really draw me in, the main artists that I adore, and I would recommend that you check them out for yourself if you enjoy a similar style. And hopefully by the end of it, you will get inspiration to make your home a little bit more magical. <music> First up, let's talk about comfy, cozy things. I love anything that is warm, snuggly, and soft. I really like it. So I have a few kind of home decor, comfy, squishy things that are always behind me that I often get asked about. So first up, we have this cushion. I get asked about this so often. It is so beautiful. On it, it has runes and a grimoire and a Ouija planchette, and it has some mushrooms and some stars. I adore this cushion. This was one of the first witchy items I ever bought when I was still living in my rented accommodation, my rented flats while I was at uni. I got this, absolutely love it. So I will find who created this and I will link it down in the description box. I will do that for everyone that I come across and that I mention, but it's also super squishy, like, oh, super squishy, which I really, really like. The artist's name, I believe, is Lolly, L-O-L-L-E, but their username on almost everything seems to be I-O-I-I-3, so it's a mix of letters and numbers. They're on Etsy as well as on Redbubble, and their stuff is such an interesting mix of witchy, whimsical, it's just so cool, and they do t-shirts and phone cases and art prints and cushions, and definitely check their work out. Next up, we actually have this blanket. This blanket is by far the most requested item that I ever get asked about. This is actually from Killstar. Now, I forget the exact name of the blanket, but I will put a picture or the name of it on the screen, and it's so soft. It's actually a circular blanket that's designed to go on like a king size bed, and instead half of it is behind the sofa and the rest of it is in front. So this central bit here is actually the middle of the circle and it has like tassels. I'm not sure if I can pull it over. It has like tassels on the edge, which is really, really soft. Now I have heard that when you wash these, they go a little bit, they're a little bit funny. I have never washed this uh, because it just sits on the back of the sofa and you can't actually really touch it because there's so many cushions in front of it. But this is still available. I think it's like 25 pounds from Killstar and it's just, I absolutely love it. They have loads of different styles as well. This was just the one that I got maybe like four years ago, something like that. But now they have loads of options. The other place I will often go to, which is where I got cushions like this from, is actually TK Maxx and HomeSense. Now, I do believe that it's called TJ Maxx in America, but I get a lot of cushions and things from their Halloween collection, and it tends to start coming out in stores from like the end of July. But this is just one of the many that I've got. I also have pumpkin pillows, you can get mushroom pillows, you can get all kinds of really cool stuff. And actually down here, if I can reach for them, I have other cushions that have got like the moon phases on that I also got from HomeSense. So, you have lots of options. This one says you say I'm a witch like it's a bad thing and it's actually embroidered so it's not just like stuck on because that's one thing I will say. Halloween cushions often fade over time but this one because it's embroidered has stayed really good. Next up we have mushrooms. <laughs> These almost always get mistaken for a lamp but it's actually this lamp that's behind my little ducklings that kind of illuminates it. This is actually a really cheap set of pumpkins that I got from a garden center. I don't think these are still available from the garden center I got them from, but I will check. I do know that Raw Beauty Christie has these exact same mushrooms in her kind of room setup. So I would say, I will link that video down below. I don't remember where she got them from, but because she is in America, they might still be available. But yeah, they're super cute. You can actually probably make something similar for yourself. 
but they live behind me and they're just the cutest things. They just give me that whimsical, ooh, <laughs> ooh, I just love that whimsical, ooh, feeling. I love anything that's like mushrooms like this. Next up, I do have some skull pieces that I absolutely adore, but I understand that not everyone feels comfortable with this, so I will put a timestamp on the screen if you do want to skip ahead to the next section. Both of the skulls I have are actually from the same artist. This is the one that sits behind me, and it is stunning. It has flowers, hand-painted flowers, all over it with gold leaf, and it is just beautiful. This one actually stands up by itself, so I have it sitting behind me here, and this is just one of two that I have from this same artist. The other one is actually on the wall behind me, and I didn't realise it was the same artist until I checked my Etsy history, and I was like, oh, it's the same artist. I absolutely adore their work, and I know that I will go back and get more in the future. I haven't seen one that I'm really, really drawn to yet, but when I do, I will get more. I just find them so beautiful. And all of the skulls that are used in the artwork are naturally fallen skulls, so no animal has been harmed for the purpose of creating these pieces of art. Instead, the person is finding skulls and animal remains that have died either naturally or, unfortunately in some cases, probably through road traffic accidents. But yeah, I love, love, love my taxidermy. I'm not going to include any more of it in this video because I know that not everyone feels comfortable with it, but I love my taxidermy and I love my skulls. It's just, ooh, I just love it. Next up, we have some wall decor and I love my wall decor. I'm obsessed with it. The first thing is probably the most noticeable of them all and that is this beautiful planchette behind me. It is actually lit up with some lights behind it and it is from an Etsy shop called Copper Moon. Now Copper Moon does so many amazing things. They just have the most beautiful, beautiful Etsy store. They have planchettes, they have moths, they have moons, they have like full shelves. I got this one a few years ago for Christmas and I absolutely adore it. It has a raw amethyst hanging from the hole in the center of the planchette and it is beautiful. On it I put a few of my smaller crystals, one that are associated with manifesting things that I'm currently working on. I wouldn't necessarily trust it with massive amounts of weight but it does look gorgeous. The only thing I will say is it drains batteries really quickly but you know what? It's worth it. I will just get rechargeable batteries. It is beautiful and I do believe that they have started doing things in different shades so obviously this is really darkly stained wood which massively fits in with my aesthetic. My floors are really darkly stained, I love that kind of stuff but I know that not everyone is interested in that so I do believe that they've started doing or they do do, <laughs> do do, paler wood options if you do want something that fits in maybe more with your home aesthetic. The next piece is something you can actually see while I'm sitting here but maybe you've never noticed it before or known what it was was. And that is this thing right here. It might look a little bit strange and odd, but it's actually a piece of 3D art from an Etsy shop called The Hysteria Machine. And it is a hand sticking itself through a picture frame that's holding a pendulum. And that's what you're seeing. This little hangy bit here is actually a pendulum and it looks amazing in person. Someone has properly casted their hand holding a pendulum and it just looks phenomenal. It definitely isn't going to be to everyone's taste, but this is exactly up my alley. I just adore the way this looks. And it's gold, which really helps me love it. I wasn't expecting to ever like gold, but it's become the unofficial colour of this room. If you were to actually see the rest of the room, you'd realise that a lot of the things in it are actually gold. It's kind of gold, green, and brown. And that is one of the reasons why I fell head over heels in love with the giant piece of artwork that's behind me. You may well have noticed that one day, about a year and a half ago, it just appeared, and it's because it is for the 75th, I believe, anniversary of the Boss Castle Witchcraft Museum. It's created by an artist who goes by Sin Eater on social media. I will leave, as mentioned, all of the links in the description box, and their art is phenomenal. If I could get every piece that they've ever created, I would, because I love them so much, but instead I settled on this piece. This piece actually depicts Old Horny. Now, Old Horny is a figure that is actually found in the Boss Castle Witchcraft Museum and has been there for a very long time, and it is just gorgeous. It has so many representations of traditional witchcraft and folk magic. You've got the moon phases, you've got a grimoire in front of you with a skull. It is full of greenery that is all gold, and honestly, 
I love this piece and I couldn't find anywhere else to put it. So it's ended up leaning here against the wall and honestly, I think it is the most perfect location. I then have a few pieces of art that I wanted to focus on in this video, but I will likely include more in future videos if it is something that you're interested in seeing more of. The first is this beautiful stag picture. This is called the Kevino Stag and it's designed by an artist called Medusa Dollmaker. All of these prints I got off Redbubble, and so if you look for the name, you will hopefully be able to find the artist. I will also leave them linked down in the description box. The second piece is one that I get asked about so often. This one is called Sawan, and it's by an artist called Keridwen. This is just absolutely stunning. I don't think this picture really does it justice. In real life, you can see the figures in the trees, you have the horned god, and then you have the witches dancing around the fire, and it is probably one of my favorite art pieces that I have. Full stop, I just absolutely love this one. And then the other one that I wanted to focus on for today is called Monoceros or Monoceros, I'm not sure which, and it's by an artist called Cowgirl M. Now I got this one at a local craft show, but you can also get it on Redbubble. I'm not sure if the scale or the quality is going to be the same, but it is available online. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about today is another art piece, yes, but this one has additional sentimentality to it. Anyone who's been on my channel for a while will likely remember my Bridget altar. It's something that used to be in the background of all of my videos, but since I've changed my setup around, you don't see it so much anymore. That altar is still in place and it's still used as my Bridget altar and this art piece is the central feature on it. And I also got this off Redbubble. This one is called Imbolc Bridget by Incantata. And as always, they're linked in the description box. This has got to be one of the most copied pieces of Bridget art that I have ever seen. So if you are going to get it, please make sure you're getting it from the original creator because they deserve the support for their amazing talent. It's amazing and is another one of those highly requested items that people really want to know where it came from. So this is where you can get it from. I will try to leave everyone's social medias linked as well if they have any posted so that you can find them in other places too. So those are all of the items I have to show you in today's video. If you do enjoy this, I will try to do more of them. Feel free to let me know in the comment section. I will be linking all of the small businesses, their social media, and if I can, any of the artwork and items specifically in the description box. Though do bear in mind that some of the pieces are one-offs, and so you might be able to find something similar, but not quite the same. If you enjoy this content, feel free to give it a like and let me know who your favorite small business is. I would absolutely love to know, regardless of whether they are witchy or not, I don't mind. Let me know down in the comment section and I'm gonna be really excited to check out every single small business because I absolutely adore supporting them. With that being said, I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you have a marvelous magical day and a marvelous magical home and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.